afternoon, everybody. We are going to be planting our potatoes in our lower garden today. What is unique about today's video is we are actually going to be weighing out our seed potatoes before we put them in the ground. So we are going to be using this digital scale to add up all of our seed potatoes. So Lily and I are gonna get started here on seeing how many seed potatoes are going in the ground. Okay, so we have added up the weight and minus out the weight of the bags, and we are at about 45 pounds of seed potatoes that we will be putting into our garden today. So let's head on down to the garden because we've got a lot of work to do. All right, so I'll pan around here. This is what the boys and Jeff right really, and Lily, absolutely, worked hard on a couple years ago and amended the soil. And <clears throat> let's pan around to what it used to look like. Basically this. So they did a great job all by hand Lots of hard work, and now we get to reap the rewards and grow some food. And then also another seed potato, and this is actually a potato from last fall that we kept. Look at that. So we've got quite a variety going in. So let's get planting. Grady's actually, <laughs> Grady came down with the mower and he's gonna be mowing around the garden as well. So lots of fun stuff going on today. What if I just leave it down? All right, so Brady has come down with a lawnmower. Did you get that running again, Brady? Was it broken? I mean, yeah, it kind of So he got it running again and he's going to be mowing around the garden. There's also going to be mowing the trail, which is really cool. He's doing some trail maintenance. So when we four wheel around, the trail has not disappeared. So he'll be mowing while Lily and I start planting our potatoes. All right, so Lily has started cutting our potatoes up into our cubes looking for two eyes on each cube. We will put them in the ground about a foot apart and then cover them with the soil. And some of the varieties we are trying this year will be the Cal Whites, which is a great white baking potato. We are also trying Satinas, which is similar to a Yukon Gold. And then we are actually going to be planting some good old store-bought russet potatoes. We'll see how they do. And we do enjoy using the mounding or the hilling technique of planting potatoes. because we feel like it does keep the weeds down and also keeps the sunlight away from the tubers so you can get the best yield in the fall. Oh, 
Okay, now these are not potatoes, but I would thought I would show you guys. Last fall, Lily and I put some straw over some strawberry plants <clears throat> to help them winter, and the strawberry plants survived. There's one right there. So that's exciting. We'll hopefully have a little bit of a strawberry patch here. And then this is another strawberry plant right here. All right. <clears throat> oh, no, talk to mom about that. Go ahead. We just, that's fine. We want to space them about a foot apart so they have room underneath as the bulbs start growing underneath the soil that they're not crowding each other out. So we're going to do with the eye face up. All right, so we got our first row of potatoes in. Potatoes like a pH of about six to six and a half. So we've checked our pH and we are good to go there. Potatoes are also kind of a pioneer crop. There's many ways you can plant potatoes. We have chosen to do the row method, um, but there's certainly more ways you can plant potatoes. We've amended the soil over the last year or two with compost, manure, straw. We have pulled out all the sticks that were in here and the kids and Jeff did a great job actually making a garden literally in the middle of nowhere. So, all right. So Lily and I have a system here. She is cutting and then I take the cut potatoes and I plant. So we're making good headway here. We have about four, nice Lily. We have about four out of our 11 rows planted. It's midday and we're, the goal is to get these all in the ground by dinner time, let's say. Now Lily, you mentioned you like cutting potatoes. I do. Why do you like cutting potatoes? I don't know. She likes it. Nice. We've got our guard dog, Ruby, making sure we're safe. So this is how I cut my potatoes at least. Uh, it's kind of just kind of like a regular potato. Uh huh. Except for. You don't really want to hit the eyes, which is that little nub right there. Uh-huh. See? You want to try and cut between the eye, huh? Yeah. So, you know. Looks like you're... Let's see it, Lily. Nice. Mav came down here in the garden to just check on the progress. Where's your sunglasses? Right, so I am on row 
six now. We've got about half the potatoes in, about half to go. The mosquitoes are bad out today, but still going to push through and get these all planted. Got to get them in the ground. <laughs> What's this? Some grass. This is cool. Yeah. Well, what is this for? Uh, well, mosquito. Uh, it is for the chickens for the nest boxes. Nice. It's just kind of a way to save some money. Freshen it up. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have the artificial dye in the hay either, so. That's right. Nothing artificial here. This is just this is just right from the forest. Nice and dry. Nice, creative. Yeah. Thank you. I'm just gonna get this around it so it doesn't spread. Right. All right. Well, we have planted seven rows now. And Lily's going to get in there and help plant the last couple of rows. Do you like eating potatoes, Lily? Yeah. What is your favorite way to have a potato? Uh, probably in the fry formation. <clears throat> French fries? Yeah. Nice. All right, guys, we did it. We have planted 45 pounds of potatoes, about 10 rows. Lily's been a great helper. We're exhausted, ready to go up to the cabin, but we did it, high five. And then Lily was gonna show you also, before we go, what she found in the garden. Uh, this is clay. Clay. So we have found some clay, which we are going to keep. And this is great if you get like a spider bite or even mosquito bites, you can kind of make a paste and put it on your skin and it helps, um, it helps pull the toxins out and it, we've actually used it before and it works uh, quite well. It's not the purified, you know, Benonite clay you'd buy at the health food store, but hey, it's free, it's from the garden, and we're going to put it in some Ziploc bags and put it to use. So we are done for the day. We'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. 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 Thanks for watching.